Greetings, my name is Matthew Pillmore. I am president of a company known as VIP Financial Education and I want to thank you for attending today's class. You're going to be very glad that you did. It's been deemed as one of the most impressive and remarkable classes by a number of the attendees that have seen it and it's known as the 100% debt-free for life training. A lot of people think they know what that means right out of the gate. I assure you, you've seen nothing like this. In fact, I'm here today to change the way that you look at money and banks for the rest of your life. We're going to be covering today one of the safest and easiest ways to own real estate with no mortgages at all. Now, there are a number of ways to achieve this result. This way just happens to be extremely safe and very easy to implement and stick with once you learn how. I'm also going to show you how to save over $100,000 on every property you buy and finance. It's regardless of the interest rate. And even if you plan on only keeping the property for a short period of time, this will rapidly increase the equity position that you have when you do sell. I'm also going to show you a technique that will flip the banks upside down on themselves, so to speak, and it'll allow you to pay off all of your non-mortgage related debts three to five times faster. Now up until you've taken this training, you may not have given a lot of thought to the idea of being completely debt free, not owing one dollar to anybody. And when you put yourself in that state of mind, it's really remarkable. In fact, you know, it could really change a lot of things about your financial future. When you practice the techniques I'm going to teach you here today the right way, you're not only paying off your debt far more quickly, but you're also going to be able to invest on an accelerated basis. You can't just retire with no debt. You also have to have a nest egg. So this will give you an opportunity to do both more quickly and safely than you're doing right now. It is my commitment to you to earn your in your attention and your confidence and your commitment to this education within the first 15 to 20 minutes. So give me at least that amount of time and I assure you, you'll want to stay to the end. And not only that, but you're also going to want to share the information with other people. By making it to the end and completing the feedback form, you will have an opportunity to be qualified to join our 3D affiliate program and get paid generously to bring this education to other people around you. That's just one of a number of different bonuses and gifts that I'm going to give you for participating and then sharing your opinion about the content. That does give us a chance to also improve our information along the way. So it's very important to us that you do that. If you've never heard of VIP financial education, I'm going to go over a few facts about me and the company toward the ends of the hour. But for starters, we have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, and the very same class you're about to see has become so popular that you can even, even Google search NASA debt-free class and see that we've built this same education for the employees of both Kennedy and Johnson Space Centers. Here's a brief testimonial about that. I am the program director that's been offering the VIP debt-free education to the employees of NASA, and in one word, awesome. We have received wonderful feedback and plan to increase the availability of this curriculum. I would strongly recommend this information to anyone from Karen Myers. It's hard to get a whole lot stronger than an endorsement from NASA. So let's move forward. Uh, I'm going to go over a couple housekeeping details and then we're going to get into the fun stuff immediately. This presentation is for educational purposes only. So numbers will be estimated conservatively in order to help simplify this training. It can be complex otherwise, but you will love what you see if you can stay focused. The training is not a substitute for financial investment legal or tax advice and it's also not a promotion for my products or services. So you can sit back and relax and know that I'm not going to try and sell you something here today. For guidance pertaining to your specific situation or the governing laws in your state, please consult with a specialist in your area. Now because this training can seem complex the first time you see it, I'm going to I'm going to also give you something very special today for attending. I'm going to include a free private implementation counseling session over the telephone with this class in order to help you safely use what you learn here today and I'm going to give you the details of how to get that at the end so that you know how to take advantage of the bonus. Now after seeing that we've built this class for NASA my guess is that you're probably getting pretty curious so make sure that you're distraction free this is not a fluff filled class we go over a lot of techniques and I'm going to show you exactly how to achieve extraordinary results so your undivided attention is going to be necessary if you commit to giving me your attention I am committed to teaching you things that will change your life I also recommend taking notes write down your questions because uh, you'll get a chance to answer all of those questions for yourself during the private implementation training which as I said you'll be given today for uh, uh, in exchange for for the, the completed feedback forms now what this is not 
sometimes helps people understand a little bit better what this is. First of all, it's not a refinance. It's also not a loan modification, so at no point in time are we ever going to be asking you to go back to your lenders in an attempt to renegotiate the terms of your loans. It's also not a multi-level marketing software program. There are some out there that talk about debt elimination, but there are some significant downsides to those which can and should be avoided. This also has nothing to do with debt consolidation or debt settlement or even credit repair. So uh, those can have negative side effects and this strategy really only has positive results. Finally, I'm not an investment advisor, so at no point am I going to be attempting to sell you something. Uh, so again, sit back and relax. It's generally unlike anything that attendees of this class have ever seen before. It doesn't have any negative side effects and it really rarely requires any cutbacks to your lifestyle at all. I want to reassure you that regardless of your current financial situation, the, the principles of what we're going to discuss today will work for you. I mean, you might be rich or poor, you might be young, you might be old, you might work for somebody else or work for yourself, and the bottom line is this, the class will redefine your standards. If your financial circumstances are great, this will make them better, and if your cir cir circumstances really aren't so great, this will make you better. It will work for everyone in some way. I encourage you right now to reflect back on your childhood because on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm curious to know how you would rate for yourself the financial education that you received in school. Now, obviously I can't see your facial expressions as I ask you that question, but my guess is that you're at least rolling your eyes on the inside. And in my experience, the applicable financial curriculum in school relating to our day-to-day -day needs was laughable at best, right? Which means I got my education from three other sources, and you may have too. So where did you learn about the banking rules, and where did you learn about credit scores or cash flow? Banking and credit rules impact you every single day. You know that, yet you've really been set up to fail. Now, I grew up with a family who tried hard to teach me great financial behavior, and they still didn't teach me what I'm going to show you today. I had to learn this through a full-time research for over 10 years just to put together what we're going to be describing to you today. So it's shockingly hard to find. Let me ask you one more easy question. Do you believe that the banks and Washington and advertisers for that matter are designing their rules in favor of us, the consumers, or themselves? Okay, you can officially roll your eyes now. If you are logical enough to agree that the way that we're asked to do things isn't generally built in our favor, then you're probably logical enough to accept that there is likely a way to improve what you're doing now. And I'm here to show you how to do that. Now, I've discovered the best way to demonstrate the seven-step solution that we've created is uh, through a real-life example. And Dan and Megan Albright attended one of our classes, just like you're doing right now. Obviously, everybody has a different life and life circumstances, but I believe that almost everybody can relate to this story. So keep in mind that the very same formula will work for you. It just is going to be customized to work based on your goals. They were ordinary people when we met them. And then once they started to apply these techniques that I'm going to teach you in detail, they have experienced extraordinary results. And they've been kind enough to allow us to share their story with you, which will hopefully impact your life the same way it's done for thousands of people like you. So we're going to go through a three-year, two-month record, chronological timeline of Dan and Megan's results in order to show you how much things can improve when you quit playing the game the way that you've been taught. So let's review the bird's eye summary of these steps, and then I'm going to circle around and demonstrate the big ones in detail. It all started on day one when Megan and Dan attended a class that was hosted by Chicago Title, which had close to 100 people in attendance. And it's weird because I specifically remember seeing her standing off to the side after I was done presenting. And usually I have several people approach me with questions. And I recall noticing that she was reluctant for some reason. And as I was loading my car, she drew near and extended her hand to introduce herself. And she thanked me for the class. And I remember that it was really snowy outside, so I wasn't particularly glad that she'd waited until that moment to say something. And as she came close, I could see the emotional impact that her money was having on her. I could see the stress and the fear in her eyes. And we only spoke for a few minutes, but it looked as though 
she was going to burst into tears the entire time. And I know that you would agree that money is emotional. It's part of the problem. Your money is emotional to you, and my money is emotional to me. And it's very hard to separate emotion from our finances. And she made it very clear to me that in spite of the hope that she had felt from our class, she and Dan had created a mess that she thought they'd never be able to clean up. At the time, they were renters, as you can see here. On day one, when we met Megan and Dan, they were renting a property. And at that time, Dan and Megan really had no plan to speak of. So what we did first was we had them each establish their top three to five financial goals over the next five years. And this is going to be your first step, too. So write that down. You need to sit down with your significant other, if you have one, and define your top financial goals over the next five years. And keep in mind that your goals do not need to match. The next step of the seven-point system is to complete the cash flow cruncher, which happens at the same time that your goals are being established. It's about a 30-minute process. One of the gifts that I'm going to provide for you in exchange for your participation in today's training, as well as your completed feedback form at the end, is a free copy of this cash flow cruncher spreadsheet. Now, we originally sold this for $250. You're going to get yours at no charge. I'm going to be using that spreadsheet throughout today's example in order to help you become more familiar with it, more comfortable with it. The next step, once the cash flow cruncher is completed, is to review the starting point and the starting cash flow. Cash flow being defined here at VIP as the difference between what you earn and what you spend. Now, the best way to organize this number is to calculate the monthly averages. Write that down. Cash flow equals monthly averages. When you think about your cash flow, it's rarely consistent, right? And the reason for that is because expenses are always fluctuating. You pay certain items more irregularly, and life obviously has this very weird way of throwing us curveballs all the time. And not to mention, if you're self-employed, your income most certainly isn't reliable. And in this case, Dan was self-employed and Megan was W-2. An accurate game plan for this if you are self-employed, is to create two cash flow crunchers. So do a save as when you get your cash flow cruncher spreadsheet and create one for your business so that you can identify both your personal and your professional cash flow. The second part of this step, as you can see, is to review the FICO credit scores. Credit scores are used by the banks to determine whether or not we are approved for any type of loans, as you probably know by now. And the one that's most commonly used is the FICO credit score which was created by Fair Isaac. Now, I was fortunate enough to study under John Alzheimer, who helped create the original FICO credit score. So we've spent nearly a decade now teaching the hidden secrets to uh, maximizing both personal and business credit. And uh, that's a very applicable piece to today's discussion. After you review your cash flow and your FICO scores, starting at the same time that you achieve steps one through three, Step four, you'll want to increase your credit scores and begin to plug leaks inside your cash flow cruncher. Now, plugging leaks does not mean giving up the things that you like to do. We're going to show you a way to preserve your lifestyle, but spend less to do it. And we have a number of different techniques to help you achieve that step. In fact, everyone who follows our direction will plug in excess of $100 in leaks every month. And sometimes it's even more than $1,000 every single month. So don't get caught up in the idea that you're going to have to go on a budget to achieve what I'm going to teach you. The next step in this process is to identify debt weapons. Most people have some already. They just don't know how to use them properly. And then we also help them get new debt weapons. At no point in time are we ever done getting more. So that's why starting on day 120 and throughout the rest of your life, you will always be looking for new appropriate debt weapons. I will be educating you on debt weapons by the end of today's training. So hang in there. Once you have debt weapons, you go to battle and you begin to accelerate the attack of your non-mortgage debts and we're going to discuss a very effective way to do that shortly. Within three years, we were able to eliminate all of Dan and Megan's non-mortgage related debts without the pitfalls of debt settlement or debt consolidation. And when you see their debt load, this is going to surprise you. Keep in mind that you're never done looking for more debt weapons. So generally, this part of the plan also includes building access to more, as you can see here. All right. Finally, just three years after we met the Albrights, we had increased their cash flow from a dangerous average of just $390 a month, indicated here on day 30, all the way to over $2,000 a month with the exact same income averages. And that's just by helping them follow the first six steps. I will show you exactly how that happened today. At this point, they purchased their first home together. 
They designed an eight and a half year payoff plan with their coach. And on a side note, sometimes people wonder how we get paid. The way VIP generates revenue is by providing people who qualify an ongoing personal coaching membership. Now, unfortunately, it's not right for everybody and it's also guaranteed. So we have to be very particular about who we allow to participate. But as we review this example, I want you to decide if you feel like the investment Dan and Megan made was a good decision for them. Now, it's important to see here that the first six steps all take place within the first four to six months. And then steps four through seven are ongoing. So it just becomes a part of your everyday life. I want you to imagine for a moment, put yourself into that place about owning your home without a mortgage. It's such a wonderful thought. But some experts actually argue that it's best to keep your mortgage for the write-off, right? So I want to address that argument after I show you a revolutionary way to live mortgage-free. So let's take a look at Dan and Megan's roadmap. And we're going to do this in a really fun and exciting approach today. I'm going to actually reverse engineer this three-year, two-month chronological timeline. I'm going to start with the end first and then backtrack through each one of these steps to show you how they achieved their results. Because my goal is to really capture your attention within the first 20 minutes of today's training. So I want to do that by really demonstrating to you that it's possible to save hundreds of thousands of dollars. If all you have right now is a mortgage with no consumer debts and a great credit score, this portion of today's training is tailor-made for you. If you have consumer debts or less than perfect credit, those are obstacles that we need to overcome with you in order for you to achieve what we're going to go over next. This is known as a truth in lending statement. It's one of the scariest documents you're ever going to have to sign, and unfortunately you have to sign it every time you get a mortgage. The reason it's so scary is because it will indicate the total amount of interest that you're going to end up having to spend. Now, let's go over Dan and Megan's together because it's astounding. First of all, they had a $290,000 mortgage that they borrowed at a 5.2% interest rate amortized over 360 months, which is 30 years. This is where I'd like to challenge you to think about interest rates in a totally different way than you ever have before. Who taught you that interest rates are important? The banks and your parents? And who taught your parents? The banks and their parents? Let me remind you that we agreed earlier that the banks are in business to make money, so they don't build their rules for us. And I want to put it into perspective for you. If I offered you a loan at 12%, would you take it? Yeah, it's not all that exciting, right? Now, what if I offered you a loan, same size, at 4%? Okay, it's getting a little more attractive. What if I told you that the 12% loan was paid off in 10 months and the 4% loan was paid off in 360 months? Which one would you take now? See, the second half of the equation that's equally if not more important is the element of time. I'm willing to bet that if you gave it some thought, you don't really care that much about interest rates. You just think you do. You actually care how much total interest you will end up paying. It's not the interest rate, it's the volume of interest. The problem here is the 360 months. When this loan is amortized over this term, the total cost to Dan and Megan will be $283,000 in interest. That means this property is projected to cost them nearly $575,000 over that 30 years. That's unfounded. Now, there are a number of ways to prevent as much as 80% of this interest which hopefully gets your attention. The one that I'm going to show you is the easiest for the majority of our coaching students to stick with. We're not here to talk you into a system that you're not going to remain consistent with. We're advocates of a plan that you can actually grab a hold of and do every single month. Because regardless of whichever you choose, whichever plan you actually implement, I know that we can both agree you really want to get results. And the one that your lender and your bank had you sign up for at the closing table might be a great starting point in order to keep your cash flow strong, but to keep it over the long run is wrong. The cool thing about the formula that we're going to be teaching you today is that the banks benefit by you using it. So I'm going to teach you how to use tools that they provide you that we call debt weapons in a mutually beneficial way. This is the summary page of Dan and Megan's cash flow cruncher. You can see here that 3.2 years after we met them, they were purchasing their home. They had this $290,000 balance on their new mortgage. $325,000 was the estimated value. It was probably closer to $320,000. They had the 5.2% interest rate, as you saw in the truth in lending statement. 
and that brought their total to $283,271 in interest. Their net income combined for the household was approximately $5,950. That was the average. As I'd said, Dan was self-employed and Megan was W-2, so we, we really have to rely on averages here. Their mortgage payment, principal, and interest totaled $1,600. A little bit less than that, we're rounding up to be conservative and make this example easier. You can see here their living expenses were averaging at approximately $2,325. Living expenses are all of those items that you will continue to have to pay even when you are debt-free. So their total monthly expenses were $3,925 per month. If you take their net income, $5,950 minus $3,925, the total cash flow each month on average was approximately $2,025. Now here's what we're going to do. We want to take this balance and we want to flip it upside down on itself so they can pay as little as 25, maybe even 20% of the interest that they would have otherwise had to pay. And we do that through proper use of these debt weapons in order to help them remain consistent with this plan. So we're going to borrow from this debt weapon here, which was a $25,000 available debt weapon. And I'm going to teach you about debt weapons later, so please just hang in there. I know that this is going to be a little bit confusing the first time through. You take from that debt weapon approximately $20,000. And we have a specific formula that we use to determine how much we should borrow in order to apply a lump sum towards another balance. So we took $20,000 from the $25,000 available, which made this available how much? That's right, $5,000, which made their available reserves $58,500 instead of the original $78,500. Now, when you take $20,000 from here and put it here, what does that make this new balance approximately? That's right, about $270,000. Now, we have the exact same amount of debt, don't we? $270 plus $20 equals $290. We just balanced it differently. This is what we call turning the bank upside down. Now we have this $20,000 debt weapon that's available. The thing about this debt weapon is that it works the exact same way as a checking account. And what I'd like to do is discuss with you for a moment about your money being unemployed. Essentially your money is just kind of sitting on the couch watching TV all day long for as much as three quarters of your financially independent life. Which means that this is you over here working hard all day long to go home and deposit your money into the bank where it sits there for 20 to 28 days on average each month. And during that time, the bank is using your money and paying you little to nothing. Does that sound familiar? Also, compound interest is working against you on all of your debt. In the end, far too much money gets spent within several areas inside your budget, and the bank ends up reaping all of the rewards. You pay your bills at the end of the month, and this process gets washed, rinsed, and repeated. Now keep in mind that when your money sits in the bank in a checking or a savings account for 20 to 28 days of each month, it's not doing anything for you. 20 to 28 days of the month equals three quarters of the month, equals three quarters of the year, equals three quarters of your financially independent life that your money is being wasted. We're gonna show you how to put every dollar to work for as much as 100% of the rest of your life. So we take this $20,000 debt weapon, we apply that towards this balance here, which drops this, and I'm going to show you the impact that that's having. And this now replaces the inadequacy of your checking and savings account. And I'm going to go over that later when we cover debt weapons. But what I want you to do is think for a moment about this $5,950 worth of average monthly income. Where does that money normally go? Well, of course, they deposit that into their checking account every single month then they pay their bills and their cash flows left over. Instead of them paying their $5,950 into their checking account, they're now going to deposit that into this debt weapon. It works the same way that their checking account does. So they deposit that against this $20,000 balance and essentially they're paying back $5,950 of the $20,000 they borrowed. We call that paycheck parking. So paycheck parking month one. Now in month one, they also have to pay their expenses. Do they not? Yes. They pay living expenses of $2,325. However, you'll notice that they are not paying a mortgage in month one, and the reason for that is because they have already paid $20,000 from the debt weapon, which counts as a mortgage payment. Now, there are two things that we're forgetting about this debt weapon, right? What are we forgetting? When they borrow $20,000, they have not only a payment, but they have interest attached to that. Guess what? When they paycheck park $5,950, 
every month on average into that account, does that or does that not count as the monthly payment? You're right, it counts as the monthly payment. So they don't have another payment on top of that. All they have to worry about is interest. So at the end of month one, they add the $2,325 worth of living expenses to the balance after they paycheck parked, which brings the total to approximately $16,375. That's at a 0% interest rate. Now we know for a fact that this debt weapon is not a 0% interest rate. In fact, it's 12%. Again, interest rates are interesting. The interest rate is less important than the term. If we can pay this back quickly, there's not much interest attached to it compared to the lower interest rate of 5.2% on this mortgage. And I'm going to show that to you. I'll prove it. So starting in month two, when they get paid $5,950 together collectively as a household, where would they put that money normally? The bank. Now, why do we use banks? We use banks because they're convenient. They're liquid. We don't know any better. They're insured by the FDIC. Those are all great reasons. But what if I could get you convenience, liquidity, safety, and a better way to put your money to work than the bank? Would you actually replace what you're doing now? Sure. So in month two, that's what they're going to do. They're going to paycheck park again, which drops this estimated balance to approximately $10,425, which is what they're paying interest on throughout the month. You see that we're reducing the average daily balance of this account, meaning they pay significantly less interest throughout the course of the borrowing. At the end of month two, you can see they have to pay the mortgage now because they did not give another lump sum. This lump sum only counts as one payment. And then the $2,325 in living expenses has to be paid. We have a great way of having to only pay that one time throughout the month as opposed to all month long. So by the end of month two, they have a new balance of $14,000. $350. It's very easy to do the math from this point forward because this is known as full cycle. Full cycle means that every month from this point on until this balance is paid back, they will paycheck park $5,950 and then they will pay the expenses, the total expenses of $3,925 and the cash flow of $2,025 will be remaining in this account just like it would be their checking or savings accounts. So we can take this $14,350 and we can divide it by the cash flow to determine approximately how many more months it will take them to pay this back if it were at a 0% loan. So that total is 7.1. Take 14,350 divided by 2,025 and the total will be 7.1 months. Now let's go ahead and add month one and month two to that equation as well as the interest. I'm going to use a 0.9 month interest estimate for this example, which is far too high. If you actually calculate the math, this is a very conservative estimate, but I want the total number of months to be a round number here. And as you can see, that brings this to 10 months per cycle, where every time they apply a $20,000 lump sum from this debt weapon to the mortgage, it's paid back in 10 months. It's hard to really comprehend the power of what I'm showing you right now. But let me demonstrate it a little more clearly. This is known as one of the most insidious devices ever created by mankind. It's called the amortization schedule. In the red, you will see the interest, and in the gray, the principal of a 30-year loan. This is year zero, the start of year one, and this is the end of year 29, where you can see most of the interest is paid in the beginning. Now, this is actually a simple interest loan. A lot of people have some confusion about amortized 30-year conventional financing. However, it really is simple interest. You're only paying interest on what you borrow. The problem here is that you owe so much more in the beginning. So if we can flip this upside down, you will save substantial amounts of interest. In month one, what did we do for Dan and Megan? We applied a $20,000 lump sum from a debt weapon that wasn't even their money which drove them down the amortization schedule by about four and a half years, which means that in month two, when they had their first monthly mortgage payment, they were paying the same amount of principal on that loan as though they'd been paying on it for approximately four and a half years. How long did it take them to pay that $20,000 lump sum back? That's right, 10 months. So starting month 11, they did the exact same thing and gave another $20,000 from the debt weapon, which had already been paid back. So now they have a new $20,000 lump sum balance on the debt weapon. They pay check park and pay their mortgage all the way throughout. And you can see that starting in month 11, 
it's the equivalent as them having been paying on this mortgage for approximately eight years. We follow that process over and over and over again, slicing the amortization schedule into bits and pieces and watch the result. The original loan balance producing a $283,000 interest amount over the course of 30 years now becomes just $72,500, which means that we were able to save them in that plan a total of $210,760 avoiding 257 payments. Let me show you the results on a mathematical mortgage calculator. This is the cash flow cruncher spreadsheet that I'm going to provide for you just for attending your class today and providing your feedback. As you can see here, this is the cash flow summary sheet. This will actually summarize all the data that you insert on each one of these tabs. We've got the revenue and assets, the debts page, the living expenses page, business expenses, action steps, and the loan calculator. And so they had a starting balance here of $290,000. And their interest rate was 5.2%. And as you can see, when I plug this in over a 30-year term, the total interest is the same as we had seen on the truth in lending of $283,271. Now, as I scroll down, you can see this page is split into two. So the number of payments is down here on the bottom half. I'm going to go ahead and start scrolling down so you can see that that goes all the way to 360. So let's go back up to payment number one. What happened in month one? We gave a $20,000 lump sum from that debt weapon, right? Now, I know this may be a little bit difficult to see. What I want you to do is pay close attention up here to the number of payments saved, number of years saved, total interest saved, and the dollar amount of payments saved. When I go ahead and I, I push enter, immediately you can see that Dan and Megan in one step were able to prevent $64,398 in interest on that mortgage. Now, Let's hypothetically say that this $20,000 debt weapon had an interest rate attached to it of 20%. 20% interest, if you never paid any of that back, would be about $4,000 in interest a year. However, that was paid back how quickly? That's right, 10 months. So in month 11, they did the exact same thing again. And even though this is a 12% interest rate, it really makes no difference. Because the interest being saved on the first is so substantial because we're driving them down the amortization schedule. So watch what happens after just two steps. I apply another $20,000 lump sum from the debt weapon. And now they've already saved $111,280. As you can see here, as I'd mentioned before, nearly eight years have been eliminated off of that mortgage in two moves using a tool that the banks provided to them. It makes you wonder why you weren't taught this in school, doesn't it? And these same exact techniques apply to the consumer debts. Your mortgage needs to be evaluated for what it is. You may have been in your mortgage for five years already. It doesn't matter. These same techniques apply. But wouldn't it be great if you could eliminate 95 payments just like that? The question becomes, is it a smart decision to have your real estate free and clear? People talk about the difference between paying off a mortgage and maintaining a mortgage all the time. What I want to do is just show you that in this example, there is a difference of disposable income where when you pay your mortgage off, you've got $51,104 based on a $65,000 gross income amount and a total mortgage interest paid of $11,500 throughout the year, which means the disposable income difference in this example was $8,444 more. You always want to have more disposable income, right? So it doesn't necessarily make sense to maintain a mortgage. There are several other benefits of being mortgage free. Yes, you can use your money that you would pay back a mortgage and invest it and potentially get a greater rate of return than what your mortgage is costing you. But by doing it this way, it's a guaranteed rate of return. And beyond that, you get the safety if there is economic volatility, if there is medical hardships or unforeseen circumstances. My car has never warned me before it was going to break down. And the fact is I see people day in and day out who are walking around with their financial check engine lights on. It's time to get it looked at. It gives you the peace of mind that you want, it gives you stronger relationships, and it's safer and faster investing when you do this. This also finally, and sometimes even more importantly, sets the right example for future generations. You gotta teach your kids the right way so they can prevent the mistakes that you and I have made. All right, so cash flow gives you choices. That's a simple fact. 
You can diversify your investment through cash flow stacking. And we talk more about cash flow stacking through later, more advanced coaching lessons. So we're not going to get into that in great deal today. But in short, essentially, you use debt weapons in order to acquire income producing assets in order to drive your cash flow position higher. And then you pay check park or rent check park that income against the debt weapon, just like we showed you there. And it produces a cyclical pattern where you just wash, rinse, and repeat that process. There are a number of different techniques that we use. We use 17 techniques to maximize credit scores. We use 34 to drive cash flow higher, 28 to reduce or eliminate debt, and we have 16 total debt weapons that we currently are using, which means that there are infinite combinations. The reason I bring this up is because you will not use the exact same technique puzzle that we have built for Dan and Megan. That's why we've included the free private implementation counseling session with this class in exchange for your feedback form because we don't want you to practice this the wrong way. Now, you've seen the plan that we created to pay off Dan and Megan's first home, and that's when they started to invest as well. Their plan really began to grow rapidly, but we could have never gotten there had we not first paid off all of their consumer debts. So we had to do that first. Let's cover that now. There are four factors that you have to consider in order to strategically eliminate all of your non-mortgage debts quickly. And we will go over this into greater detail during your free coaching session, but I want to keep today's training at an hour long. The first thing we need to consider are target rates. Target rates are calculated by taking the minimum payment obligation and dividing it by the balance owed. The higher the target rate, the more cash flow you will get when that account has been paid off. Now, we've created a very easy way for you to calculate target rates, and it's on your cash flow cruncher. Let me show you that. This is the one that we saw when we first met them. This is a little scarier than the one that we were just looking at. And here's why, okay? When you look here, you can see their starting cash flow position was about $390 per month. As you get to their debts page, you can see that they have a number of different debts. No mortgage yet. That wasn't added until later in that timeline, and we just covered it first. You can see here that they had two automobile loans, a Jeep and a Toyota, for a total of $35,000. Okay. They had a monthly payment on, on the Jeep of $450 and a monthly payment on the Toyota of $300 for a total of $750 minimum each month. You can see the due dates of the month that those were expected, the interest rates, and the target rates are calculated here. Target rate being the minimum payment of $450 divided by the balance of $20,000. You can see the credit cards here are listed as well. Dan had a Chase card, a Discover card, Megan had a MasterCard, and an Amex card. You can see their balances here. They're remaining available here, their monthly payments listed here, and this is why we felt the coaching would probably be beneficial for someone who didn't even yet have a mortgage. As you can see, listed at the bottom is their total consumer debts of $49,900. Now let me stop there for a second. If I were to ask you, how long do you think it would take somebody with $49,900 in non-mortgage related debts to pay that back, what do you suppose your answer would be? Less than 10 years, less than 20 years, 20 to 30 years, maybe never? I'll tell you right now, it's less than 1% of a live audience that tells me that they think that these guys are going to pay it back in less than 10 years. So they're, they're in for a real uphill battle, which is why Megan was so stressed when she first came to us, because they had a lot of goals here. If you visit their action steps page, they wanted to pay off all their consumer debts. They wanted to build a plan and stick with it. They wanted to invest in real estate and buy at least three more properties. They wanted to have reserves and safety so that they could start to travel and start a family. Those are great goals, but they weren't anywhere near those with a cash flow position of $390. Now, keep in mind that they paid us nearly $4,000 to get into coaching and they put it on this account here. But let's review exactly what happened next. By factoring target rates and understanding exactly what cash flow would be impacted by paying off certain debts first, looking at the types of accounts, installment versus revolving, considering the impact to their credit scores as we were strategizing their plan, and then considering the interest rates last, we were able to put a plan together that really accelerated their goals. Let's go over that now. Here you see the average summary again, no mortgage again, because again, we're, we're earlier in their timeline, but they had the $5,950 in total income, the $1,600 in rental payment, which was located on their living expenses tab. Let's take a look at that. As we go back to their cash flow country, you can see living expenses are listed here, and you can see their total living expenses, $3,977, and that's because they had rent of $1,600. They were able to keep their housing payment about the same when they got into their new home. 
So let's go back to the example to the summary and I'll walk you through what they did. So you can see all of their consumer debts listed here, the two automobiles and the credit cards that we walked through on their cash flow cruncher. And their average cash flow was quite a bit less than before when we had already paid off all of these items. Okay, remember we're backtracking here. So we now have this $20,000 debt weapon that we helped them get. And I'm gonna explain that in a little while, so just be patient. We use the exact same techniques that we applied earlier, where we take a lump sum amount. In this case, we're gonna borrow $14,000 in order to pay off these three credit cards, which when that happens, these three minimum payments all go to zero, which means that the debts payment is reduced to $750 between the two automobiles. You can see the $300 and the $450 minimum payments, which means the total outgoing expenses becomes 4,665 and the cash flow increases from 900 to 1,285 dollars as you see here at the bottom. Now when they get paid 5,950 dollars, instead of putting it in the bank like they would have, what have they learned to do? That's right, paycheck park. So they take the 5,950 dollars, paycheck park it, reducing that average daily balance to 8,950 dollars through the majority of the month. So instead of the 20 to 28 days of the month where the money would have normally been unemployed, that money is going to work. At the end of the month, when they have to pay all these expenses, they pay them out of this account, just like they would of their checking or savings account. So the 4,665 in total expenses gets paid, bringing the new balance to approximately $13,615 at the end of month one. That process just gets wash, rinse, and repeated, which means that you can actually take the starting balance here of $14,900, and because we're starting in full cycle where every month $5,950 gets paycheck parked, and every month $4,665 gets spent on average, we can take the starting balance of $14,900 and just divide it by the 1,285 in cash flow, making the approximate payoff period 11.6 months for this first cycle of 14,900 as a balance. So in 11.6 months, this 14,900 was paid back in full. We're gonna go ahead and add 0.9 months worth of interest costs to that, which is far too high. This is a 12% interest rate, by the way, 12%. This is high even for 12%, $1,156. So we go ahead and add an extra month in here just for unexpected costs. Even though unexpected costs are already accounted for in living expenses, I just wanna be very conservative so that you can see that there are no smoke and mirrors taking place, which means that the balance or the total months to pay back that original balance was 13.5. Now we're gonna go ahead and follow that same process to strategically eliminate these two automobile debts one at a time and look at the following results. Just three cycles later, the payoff period for cycle one, as you remember, was 13.5. That's the one that we covered. Cycle two was 13.4. And cycle three to pay off the final automobile only took eight months, which means the grand total payoff period for Dan and Megan to pay off $49,900 was 2.9 years. How much interest do you suppose they saved? When you were guessing how long you thought it would take to pay back $49,900 with an original starting cash flow of $390 per month, what was your response? I'll tell you right now, I'm, I tend to be optimistic, but I didn't think they'd ever do it. Not if they didn't change behavior. One financial expert argues that financial success is made up of 20% know-how and 80% behavior, and I tend to agree with that. As you can see here, They've accumulated a number of debt weapons over that period of time, totaling $78,500, which means that their credit scores have also increased substantially to a 781 new FICO, which is very important. We're going to go over that in just a few minutes. So here we are. We've just completed stage six. They paid off all of their consumer debts, which brought them to the first step that we covered, which is number seven, and they designed their payoff plan on their mortgage and their investment strategies at that point to start acquiring even more properties. But before we could do either one of these two items, we had to identify both new and existing debt weapons. Very important piece to today's training. I would definitely recommend writing some of your questions down. Debt weapons create safety. That's the bottom line. There are six primary purposes beyond creating safety that debt weapons can help you achieve. 
A debt weapon achieves often more than one of these purposes. The first is to maximize cash flow. Next, you get to compress amortization schedule so you can pay something that would normally take 30 years. You can pay it off in six, seven, eight, nine years. You can create better bank accounts. So instead of allowing your money to sit unemployed as we've been discussing, you can actually put every dollar to work all year long. You can invest more quickly and safely. So this isn't just about using debt weapons to accelerate the elimination of debt. Many people use debt weapons in order to acquire more investments. You can minimize the volume of interest that you've paid. As you could see, Dan and Megan have a plan that's going to eliminate $210,000 worth of interest, which is nearing 80% of the total amount that they would be expected to pay otherwise. And finally, enhancing their FICO scores further and faster, which is very important. It reduces interest rates, makes them more lendable, and it also reduces their insurance premiums. Now, let's talk real quickly about debt weapons. These are very important pieces to acknowledge. Write this down. Debt weapons require a 700 plus FICO credit score to be approved. And when you have that credit score, you can get access to between $2,000 to $150,000 per debt weapon. If you don't have a 700 plus FICO score currently, we will help you get it. Secondly, you must know which debt weapons to get, where you go to get them, when you should apply for them, and what purpose they'll serve once you have them. We do a lot of research on a weekly basis, anywhere between 5 to 15 hours, in order to stay abreast of which debt weapons are currently available and where they're available. You have to understand these answers in order to go out and actually successfully obtain debt weapons, which can be somewhat challenging for people to do on their own. You have to be aware of the dangers of answering these questions incorrectly. And what we've done is created a significant checklist to go through in order to make sure it's done correctly. And we have specialists that actually go through this every single week. And it's substantial. But when you put the time in and you get access to these tools, it's very easy. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. If you have questions during your private counseling session, then please make sure you write any questions down that you have. I would like to warn you that you should minimize the credit available to yourself if you're not financially responsible. However, if you are financially responsible or you believe that with help you can be, there's no such thing as having too much credit. Some financial experts argue that you should cut up the available credit that you have to yourself and that's just simply not beneficial to you if you can manage to be responsible with it. That available capital helps you achieve your goals far more quickly. All in all, this ends up creating safety for you and your family. Many experts agree, including me, that you need access to reserves in order to protect yourself from those unforeseeable circumstances in life. However, that money does not have to sit unemployed in a checking or a savings account. That money can be available through the proper use of debt weapons. Here are the debt weapons that are currently offered through the banking institutions listed here on the top. The bottom two rows are the debt weapons that are offered outside of the banking institutions. So we're using these day in and day out. And it's rare that we're only using one debt weapon per student. Most students have multiple debt weapons. And as I said earlier, at no point are we ever done looking for more. On your cash flow cruncher, you will have access to a glossary of terms that will identify what these acronyms mean. But I want to make sure we move forward and get through all this information in the short timeline that we have today. Anything that's listed in gold is also available through us to, uh, to learn through free classes. So. All of these are free classes that you will have access to now that you're participating in this course. Uh, you'll receive emails that invite you to participate in those as well. And hopefully you're getting a lot of great information from today's training. The key to borrowing is this. By borrowing at a higher interest rate and paying over a shorter term, you can often pay significantly less interest. I think that's the moral of the story here, and the VIP pig wants you to know it. So going back to the map here, the two goals that we had to achieve before we could get into the debt weapon acquisition was understanding what the credit scores were and exactly how to raise those to a 700 or greater in order to begin to apply for and get access to appropriate tools to move them forward through their plan more quickly. The FICO goals are as follows. You want to make sure you achieve a 760 or greater low FICO score. Less than perfect credit scores can cost you as much as $64,000 over just a five-year period of time, depending on how much you're borrowing and your insurance policies. Also, the minimum credit score that you need is a 700 or greater. When you schedule your private counseling session, we will help you get access to your appropriate true FICO scores. There's only one place to get those. 
And I want you to rest assured that there are credit scoring maximization solutions that are far more effective than credit repair. So if you don't have the 700 or greater that you need, we're going to help you take the steps necessary to get to that 700, and we don't charge for that. Now, when you look at Dan and Megan's starting point, they had a 671 and a 668 starting FICO position. And there are two primary reasons that we want to raise these scores with Dan and Megan. We want to educate them on how to do this because it will help them reduce their expenses, their insurance premiums will go down, and their lendability increases, which means their interest rates go down. This is what will help them achieve access to the debt weapons that we point them in the direction of. But as you can see, they do not have the minimum credit score needed in order to get those debt weapons, do they? So what is Dan and Megan's first step in their process? Well, they have to raise their credit scores. And in approximately 75 days, we were able to help Dan and Megan learn which steps they need to apply in order to jump their credit scores to a 713 and a 726. This is not difficult to do. You just have to understand the five elements of what makes your credit score what it is so that you can actually be proactive and, and impacted. Once you have focused on credit scores, simultaneously you're going to start to plug leaks inside the cash flow cruncher. And this is lifestyle preservation for less. So this is not going on a budget and giving up everything you love as we talked about earlier. The people that we work with that follow our plans will prevent over $100 per month and some people it's even over a thousand. That's all done through tax planning, living expenses, and strategic budgeting. Now VIP does not provide tax planning, but we can identify where there are leaks and have you talk to a tax professional. Living expenses and strategic budgeting is our primary focus inside your coaching environment. So let's take one more look here at their overall summary. You've got this $5,950 when we first met them as an average monthly take home income. And their average expenses were the $1,600 for rent, $2,315 for the living, $1,135 for the minimum consumer debt payments, meaning their, their cash flow was $900. This was after we plugged leaks inside the cash flow cruncher. And when we got to this stage, we helped them identify a new debt weapon, which thinking back, you probably remember was the $20,000 tool. We told them which debt weapon to go after, which institution to apply for it at, when to apply and exactly what we were going to do with it once we had it and they were successful getting a twenty thousand dollar personal line of credit which is unsecured based on a signature because of their great credit after we helped them raise it over 700 it was at a 12 percent interest rate which made no difference compared to the interest that they were able to save by applying the techniques that we did now let me tell you a little bit about VIP so you know more about us before you schedule your personal implementation coaching session and we decide how some of these techniques and many others apply to your specific goals. VIP was founded in 2002 and it was built by a number of experts, 44 in fact. And we became national leaders on cash flow, debt and credit. We started working with a lot of different companies and individuals providing online and on-site classes completely free of charge just like you're participating in now. The way that VIP gets paid is by providing implementation and accountability services that can be a little difficult to be approved for, but that's okay. It's for your protection and ours. We do have a perfect reputation, as I had explained earlier, and we have endless testimonials, people who have seen great success, and we do back everything up with a satisfaction guarantee. If you want to learn more about that, you can go to aboutvipfinancialeducation.com and see some of those stories there. Here's one great testimonial from Charles Roberts. I am the broker owner of a 375 plus agent real estate company. We have been providing the VIP classes to our agents and clients for the past few years and everybody who puts this training to use can greatly benefit from it. We also have one from Jim May. Jim says when he first saw this he thought holy smokes. It was very informative and a great process. We're really making great progress with our coach and can't wait until the next class. Jim is the chief of police in North Glen, Colorado. So what are you supposed to do now in order to start putting this to use? This is not going to do you any good if you don't put it to action. The first thing is to access a variety of tools in order to simplify your roadmap. And we're going to provide you those tools for free. We will also review your starting point and your destination goals. We do that at no charge as well through that private implementation coaching session. We're going to design your short-term plan by reverse engineering your long-term goals. And that's also free. And then you just need to be disciplined and accountable to it month in and month out just like you are right now with your current plan. The bottom line is the process will never require you to disclose 
any confidential financial information to us and it can be easy when we break it into small simple steps if you're then qualified for the coaching we revisit and revise your plan monthly together here's what it looks like here's one of the tools that you're provided the cash flow cruncher as you saw being used throughout the presentation you will get a copy of this at no charge and that will be emailed to you once you schedule your private implementation session you also will be directed towards a service called mint.com which is owned by Intuit the creators of QuickBooks and Quick, Quicken. This is a free service uh, and I highly recommend it. It interfaces with your banks. You can set up goals, do reporting, etc. We've even helped create a 760 Club uh, credit education and enhancement program that is second to none. It will help you handle imperfect credit scores and this is completely free of charge to new students which has a $1,500 value. As you can see the results speak for themselves. This individual over the course of an 11 month period raised their credit scores from a 549 all the way up to a 696 uh, in this short period of time. If coaching does end up making sense for you and you're qualified, there is unlimited coaching sessions over the phone so you can be anywhere in the United States. We unfortunately do not coach outside of the country yet and the process as I said earlier can be broken into small simple steps and made very easy. We put your action steps, step one, step two, step three, step four here on the left and you simply put the results here on the right. The investment for coaching, if you're curious, is possibly tax deductible. It's a two-year membership and the cost is $4,760 or $248 per month. The key here is for us to be able to answer the question together, which plan is more expensive, this plan or your current plan? And we attempt to do that together. The first thing you need to do is, uh, is, is make sure you complete that feedback form because you will get a discount, a significant dif discount if you do complete it here in just a few minutes. So make sure you do. Now we also offer a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So there's absolutely no way that we're going to allow you to fail, which means that if you pay us a, a not inexpensive amount of money, we got to make sure that we can produce for you a return on that investment that's substantial. And I want to put that into perspective for you in Dan and Megan's case. They offered the same amount they actually got a thousand dollar discount by completing their feedback form which you can as well and in just one step you may remember they saved sixty four thousand three hundred ninety eight dollars if you gave me thirty seven hundred and sixty dollars and I promised you a sixty five thousand dollar savings would you do it their second step another forty six thousand dollars was prevented and over the course of eight and a half years on just their mortgage alone they were able to prevent two hundred and ten thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars so that was a no-brainer for them and in most cases it's not for people however when it is and it's a little questionable we just simply don't allow people into the program because with that guarantee we've got to be cautious so your first step is to fill out the feedback form we want your feedback it's how we learn what we need to improve about the class so you're going to complete that feedback form immediately following this class and in exchange for that I'm going to go ahead and give you that free no sales no pressure personal implementation coaching session to start you on the right path I'm also going to go ahead and discount the price of the coaching provided that you're qualified. You'll also get a free 3D affiliate qualification, meaning that you can earn up to six figures per year in addition to what you're making now, working as little as five hours a week, just sharing this class with other people. You also will get access to free classes and the invitations will be sent by email to those other debt weapon educational courses that uh, we pointed out earlier so keep your eyes open for those emails so that you can attend those classes they will also be no no charge whatsoever you'll get a free cash flow cruncher which will be emailed when you schedule your free coaching session so again make sure that you get that on the calendar as soon as possible it is a first come first serve basis and we're we're always very very busy okay and finally if you call us back uh, on our first attempt to reach you then you'll get a free restaurant gift certificate that will be sent to jumpstart your cash flow plan and that will be sent to you following your free session. So as long as we reach you on our first attempt or you call us right back after we attempt to reach you and leave a voicemail, then we will give you a free restaurant gift certificate that you can redeem at over 18,000 restaurants nationwide. This is your chance to determine if and how the system can improve your life. If you want to expedite this process, just simply call to reserve your session at 866 969-2738. That's toll free, 866-969-2738. Really appreciate your time today. Hopefully you learned something. Please be generous with your feedback. We look forward to changing the social economics of this country one household at a time, starting with you. Make it a great day.